We have Wednesday night Conference USA action on national television, ESPN2. It's Western Kentucky and Sam Houston State, 55 and a hook being the total. We are seeing the Bearcats of Sam Houston, minus two and a half home favorites. Got your winner coming your way right now, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. In college football, CUSA action here with the Hilltoppers winning last year's game. 28-23, they overcame five turnovers in that one to get the W. So do note that this is a WKU team that's already beaten Toledo. They were up two touchdowns against Boston College in the fourth quarter before dropping that one. So it gives you kind of the caliber of athlete who they're going up against. This Western Kentucky team is pretty good in my eyes. I'm looking to be betting on them. They've covered five straight games, so they've been a money maker of late. Their head coach, Helton, he's coaching them up. Their quarterback, Belt Camp, he's a big, tall guy back there throwing it downfield. He's got a 16 to 6 touchdown to interception ratio uh, for his career. A couple of those TDs came last year, but he's still, he's, he's throwing the ball around. Western Kentucky's scoring some points here. And defensively, I actually think the defensive unit goes to the underdog here, which is WKU. I think they have the better unit on the defensive side. Looking at the Sam Houston State, their defensive rankings are not very good, and particularly because some of the offensive opponents that they've faced this season have just done nothing, you know, no explosion on the offensive side. And when you're talking about Conference USA, guys, there's a huge dis disparity, dis you know, a huge gap in terms of the good teams and the bad teams. Um, and they faced a bunch of the bad teams. Now, they're averaging 32 points per game. But breaking down the strength of schedule, this is a team that got blown out by UCF. And I don't want to kind of downgrade them too much because of that. I'm just throwing it out there. It's one of their, their losses. They did beat Texas State by one point in a neutral site game, but they gave up 325 pass yards in that one. So that's something to note. The Other than those two games, the teams that they've fared, they faced is UTEP, Rice, Hawaii, and New Mexico State. Even including of FCS wins, the win-loss record is just 5-19 in 19 out of those other four teams that they've played. I think taking a step up in class talent-wise of who they're going to be facing in Western Kentucky, it's going to be too much for them. I mean, remember, Sam Houston State, they're only in their second year in FBS competition. They went 3-9 and nine last year. So this kind of, I guess, sexy record that they have, I think it's a little bit misleading here, guys. I think the wrong team's favored. I like Western Kentucky in this matchup. Um, you know, again, winning five straight. And I think they have the better roster talent top to bottom. I guess, you know, with the the schedule spot, it's not really favoring Western Kentucky because Sam Houston State's at home with extra preparation time. But I don't think it's enough. I think the odds makers are, are overdoing that. And lastly here, guys, Sam Houston State's minus two and a half point home favorites across the board right now. I'm talking in the four o'clock p.m. Pacific time the night before, and there's no threes out there. There's no plus three on Western Kentucky. That's something I like to take notice of, that they're not wanting to give the full field goal here to the underdog. We'll take the two and a half. Western Kentucky, I think they went outright if you want to go money line. But um, hey, to put the two and a half points in your pocket, that's the way to go. In this ESPN2 Wednesday night conference USA football game. Guys, check out premium picks, wagertalk.com, experts page, Drew Martin, number one ranked wager talk handicapper in terms of college football, NFL totals. Uh, over the last four years, long term records there, guys, on a 16 and six football run, short term, and got a uh, all inclusive package through the rest of the season, over $500 off. You get college football. NFL, Major League Baseball playoffs. We also got college basketball right around the corner with NBA as well, guys. Hey, that's the best deal for you. All inclusive with Drew Martin, wagertalk.com. Check it out, over $500 off. Got premium picks up and available for this weekend. 5%er, max limit going on Monday Night Football this upcoming week. So in early with that one, we got the college football slate going on Saturday. More weeknight action as well. And check out Drew's Daily Diamond right here on the Wager Talk YouTube channel on a monster 24-11, and 69% run 
of double digit units as well. We're not giving out minus 140, minus 150, you know, getting up there and in VIG and then claiming a big percentage. No, no, no. It's up 11.62 units in this run over the last 10 days, 24 and 11, 69%. That's all given out for free, guys, each and every day on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. So go check that out. Premium picks, the all-inclusive package, over $500 off. And again, number one ranked football totals handicapper last four years. Number one ranked baseball sides handicapper since early July on the Wager Talk roster. So uh, Drew Martin, experts page, all-inclusive, over $500 off. And we got Western Kentucky, plus two and a hook against Sam Houston State Wednesday night. Smash that like button. Comment below, guys. Let me know if you agree, if you disagree, uh, what you're looking to bet in college, college football, Major League Baseball, NFL, all is welcome. I'll be in there reading throughout, chiming in with you guys. So, uh, hey, if you're following along, let's go Hilltoppers. Let's cash this ticket. Thanks for tuning in.